My name is Brian Cash and I'm one of the DJs at Radio UTD here on campus. I got into radio because I saw them at an orientation fair and they said that anyone can apply to be a radio host. You didn't have to be like a broadcast major or an arts and technology major. Uh, so I applied my fr first semester freshman year, did not get in until the spring semester where I applied with a co-host and now we have a talk show. At my job I broadcast a talk show and we talk about Campus life, nerd culture. Mythbusters versus Ghostbusters. Oh, oh my god. And we even um, bring, our, bring in our ukuleles and sing, uh, sing. <laughs> covers of popular songs. Uh, I've never been actually censored myself. It's mostly a form of self censoring. I'm not always a bitch. Just kidding. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I can't imagine what that would remind her of you. Um, I've never had like the bleep sound come over my face or whatever, but I have dropped a few swear words that I shouldn't have, because that's what I do. <laughs> there was a couple shows recently that um, me, my co-host, and my other co-host, because we recently got a third, um, we all had our ukuleles, and um, the chords are really easy to this one song I knew really well, and we got to cover that one, and I don't know how it sounded, but I really enjoyed singing it. Um, I've been working with Radio UTD for coming on three years now. I applied to be a DJ and got in in the spring of 2012, and now it is 2014, so I guess that's actually two years. Yeah. Yeah. It would be kind of cool to be a radio announcer, but that's not where like my passions lie, you know? I can talk to a mic for hours, days on end about things that I enjoy, but I don't know if I could do all the other parts of being a radio announcer, like reading public service announcements aren't really my thing. Talking about music, it, it gets a little hard for me after a while because I'm just not that into music. I mean, it's cool and I really appreciate it, but it's not my life. And like he comes up, he's supposed to be in jail, and he's like, we should leave now. I'm going to miss the one hour each week where I can like sit in this really fancy audio booth of a bunch of stuff that I didn't pay for and talk into this mic and have people are forced to listen to me. Last time I went hunting, I almost shot my uncle. Well, I'm glad you didn't. I thought he was a turkey. <laughs> and, and then he stood up, and I was like, that's not a turkey. Uh, they can turn me off, but they can't. They can't stop me from talking, you know? I don't know why they decided to give seven-year-old Brian a gun. I'm gonna miss, like, there's a certain... Not, we didn't have, don't really have a large following, but there's a couple of our friends that, like, really intently listen to our shows, and um, now that we have them on podcasts, they, they'll, they'll be there forever. So anytime I mess up, it'll be there forever. What are you waiting for? Tell me what is that delay? Approximately 10 seconds left. Oh no. <laughs> According to our thing. See y'all next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Later. Usually the only guys are here.